Hey guys, so it's Shadow Knight Paladin and welcome back to my channel. So, this video, if you've read the title, is my preparation of sorts for Inktober. So first, I will be showing more or less what the materials I'll be using for this month or this year's Inktober. And I'll also be doing a speed paint of the cover art of sorts of my Inktober section. Now, if you were here last year, uh, when I participated for the first time for Inktober, I made a cover for the section, which would be somewhere here in front. Here you go. So I made this cover on September 30th. Yeah, so the day before it started, I made this cover. I don't know why I didn't record it because it was pretty bad. So it, I used it to define the section. So it was the start of Inktober 2016. And then somewhere here in the end, which you saw earlier, I made the same like section thing to mark the end of Inktober. So I'll be doing something similar today and I know that I haven't really been uploading or last week's video was it a normal art video. Uh, I've just been lazy and I've been playing Tales of the Race a lot recently. I'll get into that later. So the notebook we'll be using is the Rhodia Uni Blank or I guess that means blank and I'll be skipping this page for safety's sake. I'll be doing this here. And I would have used the red notebook that I showed earlier, but when I counted the pages at the back, it didn't seem like it would be able to cover all 30 days. So I decided to just start fresh on a new notebook, and when I'm done with Inktober, I'll go back to that red one, finish that, and come back to this. So I showed this off in an art haul I did some time ago, and I haven't really used it since I bought it. So I'll be using it for this. It's black, it's Inktober, it fits just what just right. I will be using my normal tools. I have a couple of pens. I'll be using pencils and of course erase that. And that's basically, basically it. Uh, so of course, if you're not familiar, uh, as the name suggests, Inktober is encouraging you to use ink or just ink in general. So it can be like ball pen which is like the easiest to start with or you can use the more fancy ink dropper things or you can you know whatever qualifies as ink so this is the Rodia notebook I'll be using this fancy box of mine of Faber artist ah I screwed it up Faber Castle Pit artist pens and if you're not familiar with them these are inja ink based markers so they're not alcohol based so I guess I, that gives me a bit of a free pass to all these colors. So I'll be using that. I'll also be using something you'd be familiar with if you were watching last year. The Derwent Inktense Pencils. Now these are technically water-soluble pencils, but they're ink, tense, they're ink pencils. So um, when the water dries, you can't rework them anymore and they're as vibrant and as, um, as, like, you know, it's ink. So I guess I get another free pass on that one. And then I'll be using, if I can find it, oh, here it is. I'll be using this, uh, Kuretake, Kuretake Cambio brush pen. Now this is, this actual ink. There. So, yeah. That is what I'll be using for Inktober. So, at this point, I'll be speeding up the video for the speed paint. So, welcome back. And we'll be doing the speed paint now. And I really didn't have any idea or theme that I wanted to go with for the cover. Unlike with the one that I did last year, I really knew that I wanted to do these diamond diagonally shaped things. I was a lot less prepared for this year's Inktober. I didn't even notice that sep September 30th it was already keeping up on me. So I only remember today when I thought like, oh I need to upload the video. And then it became, oh no, it's already, it's already Inktober. Oh no. So I had to like really, really quickly try to imagine things and I didn't want it to look too similar with what I did last year. But also, I still wanted to do the geometric thing, so I just kind of went with the flow, I guess. 
So when you'll be seeing this, which is well, tomorrow as recording since I am kind of cramming, I will be at a con. Cause not that I don't know. Do you guys really care? But um, I'll be there spending money, my hard-earned cash, <laughs> and it will be September 30th, so I guess it wouldn't be, I wouldn't really be rushing to starting October yet, that would be on Sunday, so I haven't really figured out how I'll manage to do it while maintaining my full-time job. Of course, I won't be giving up my job anytime soon, but I'm, I'm definitely gonna have probably some late nights or I'll jump straight into the into it the moment I get home. We'll see how it'll, it'll turn out. I'll do my absolute best to do it every day. And so I'm not as confident since I don't think I have as much time as I did when I first did it last year. When I did it last year, I sort of was just bumming around the house, not really having a job since I newly graduated of sorts. So I had a lot of time. But now, I'm not sure how to balance it on top of my usual content because I've been trying to do live streams uh, at least for an hour or an hour and a half when I come home from work but it is it's sort of turning out to be like two times a week in the weekdays because when the other days I'm just like totally exhausted and I don't you know do anything except sleep and maybe play games also I did mention that Lately, I've been playing this game called This Tales of the Race, and if you are familiar with my channel, or if you, you've at least clicked through my um, channel, or my video feed, my video tab, whatever you call that, you would know that until very recently, I've been drawing a lot of tale stuff. So like Tales of the Abyss, Tales of uh, Zisteria, and I already participated in this Tales of 69 Minutes challenge a couple of years back. And I've been uploading the videos for those speed paints. So aside from the fate stuff, I've also been doing tail stuff. So getting into Tales of the Race, which is a mobile game, isn't very surprising, especially it's especially since it's like a diet version of a normal Tales game. So the combat system and yeah, well the combat system is there. The story doesn't seem to be as deep, or at least where I'm at, I'm at chapter 5? I'm in Jude's chapter, so that's Tales of Celia. Uh, I'm, it's not, it doesn't seem to be as deep as the normal Tales game, but it has really that good Tales vibe. So if you're planning to get into any Tales, so if you're planning to get into Zestiria or Berseria, or maybe even the older titles like Abyss, it's a pretty good start to get a feel of how to play it. And since I love Tales, I've, I've been kind of addicted to it. And I've been playing it whenever I can. Which also meant I haven't been drawing when I should be. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, that's a bit of a thing. But I have been live streaming every Sunday as much as I can. Uh... I've been trying to get back into that schedule, and... Oh, I haven't thought about the schedule for this, huh? I haven't actually figured it out. I might... Hmm... I might upload it... On my usual Saturday? Or maybe even just a Thursday? Man, I don't know. Because I do have some videos lined up for my normal schedule, and I don't really want to flood my subscribers with just purely inktober so I'm not really sure how I'll go about it huh and that, that's a bit of a pickle well I'll figure it out I'll probably replace the Saturday ones occasionally if I run out of videos maybe well we'll see I'm really sorry I'm really not prepared this year I'm in a total world so yeah that's my inktober cover I hope you guys enjoyed and Hey, join me. This will be pretty fun, and you will learn a lot of stuff, especially inking. So I'll see you around.